Hey, what's up? I'm Brother Dave. Chase is on an errand right now, but you're watching A Day in the Life with Chase After the Right Price, and we got a lot of work to do, so let's get to it. All right, so the main objective today is to get this table cleared. We have a whole big collection coming in and we need the space to put the collection and that's where it's gonna be. So let's get to it. Whew. Well, I have quite a bit of ways to go. Man, I am not really tired yet, actually. I haven't really been working very long. So, so far, just put a bunch of controllers to be tested in a bin, a bunch of consoles to be tested in a bin, put all the games in one spot so Chase can go through them. Still need to figure out a place to put all this. And all this miscellaneous stuff, I might need to ask Chase where that needs to go. Um, and I just gotta figure everything else out as well. This is an eBay bin. I, again, it's so hard to know exactly what's going on eBay or Amazon. I'm learning a lot. I don't know everything. I'm not Chase. Chase knows everything. Um, so yeah, so let's, let's just keep working. Hopefully we'll get this done before Chase comes back. That'd be great. All right. So I did it. It is officially cleared. Look at that. Isn't that nice? But I kind of cheated a lot, actually, because it's kind of all on the ground. But technically, it is completely cleared, and we can start, you know, finalizing a, a place for all this stuff. But at least it's just that. I mean, think about what it was before. You know, I, I you know, closed down all the boxes, broke them all down, and uh, this is all we have left. So. I think it's better. All right, let's go. All right, so Brother Dave has been working. I can clearly see that. And he cleared off all these tables, which is fabulous. I did. <laughs> you know, there's, there's a little bit of cheating back here. <laughs> just, just a tiny little bit. <laughs> but honestly, it was really helpful because we had a giant shipment to do um, and this is it. So one, two, three, four, five, six boxes, an average of 30 pounds each. Um, a bunch of Sega Genesis systems, Wii's, GameCubes, a bunch of stuff, but all systems. That's all we're getting out today. And that's all right here. And this is a great feeling because next week we have a lot happening. So. There's a big collection that we're buying for $7,000, a little over $7,000. And then Tatesy is buying a bunch of stuff in Columbus, Ohio, which she's given me money to buy. And that's happening. So there's going to be another collection. This is all like next week. So two giant collections. Hi, Tatesy. I'm going to get you. People said I need to give you more attention in the comments. So this is me giving Tatesy attention, as she deserves. She's our basement co-worker. Anyways, yeah, so we need we need all this space that we can get because we're doing the 127 garage sales, the world's longest garage sale route, all on the 127 highway, and then two collection buys, and that's all happening next week. So every processing table needs to be empty. We only have like four, maybe five work days to make that happen. So this is a great start, and we're gonna load all these up in Brother Dave's car so he can take them on down to our local pack mail, which takes UPS, FedEx, and post office packages. And it's right by his house. So it works out great. Perfect. And 
Yeah, so this is what's been going on. Like, this is what's been going on the last three or four hours is, is getting this stuff all packaged up, um, ready to go. We've both kind of been working on this. Um, so that's kind of a normal day. I've been doing, like, a lot of personal stuff since we just bought this house. So we had a lot of people in and out, air conditioning people, stove people. So thankfully, David's been able to get us all prepared to do this. And... We kind of wanted to take you through what a full working day looks like, but sometimes this is what it looks like. It's it's grinding a little bit, getting some interesting things done, but then just going four hours on the same thing, which isn't that interesting to do a video capture of, but you can see the end results here, and it feels good. It'll feel even better when they're at pack mail and completely gone, but yeah, this is awesome. So we're going to load these up in the car, and that's pretty much the last thing of the day. The other thing that happened is we got a couple new, David went and found a couple new songs. So you're gonna be hearing some new music in videos, maybe in this one, I don't know, could be. Um, this camera that we're recording on, I don't, did you mention it? I did not. So this is a Canon G7X, which I am very excited about. It's kind of like a, it's a Mark II, so it's like a somewhat famous YouTuber camera. And I got a sweet deal on it, and Thane was like, yo, you need to keep that. And I said, okay, because I trust things that Thane says. <laughs> <laughs> and so let me know how the um, video looks, how the audio looks, if you notice a difference. So we're trying to step up our game a little bit for you guys to bring the quality a little bit higher. Because um, we also got the GoPro Hero 8, and then we're adding this as well. So we're going to be mixing these in a little bit more, maybe you'll notice. And yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. All right, so we're gonna switch over to eBay sales now. So I have 13 sales from the weekend, and wanted to shout out a couple of viewers that bought stuff. So Battle Tank, I got a little note from Travis. So Travis, thank you so much for the order. He says, huge fan of the show. It's almost a family tradition to watch it at dinner and the kids sing along. It's pretty entertaining. My son instantly says, games, games, games when we find them at a, at a garage sale. And congrats on the new office space. So Travis, thank you. Loved getting that message on your purchase. And just want you guys also to know, um, my eBay store link is in the description of every video. You can follow the eBay store. And if you see anything, please let me know, you know, if you're a viewer, um, because that means a lot to me and it's cool to see that. And I'll hopefully be able to shout you out. Also, if you buy something. And then another, uh, viewer sale actually through Facebook. So Chris messaged me on the Chase Up the Right Price, Chase Up the Right Price Facebook, which is also in the description. Uh, he saw that I picked this up in a video on a Will It Trade, and wanted it. And I just said, well, I was going to list it on eBay for forty, but I'll do twenty percent off for you to just do it outside of eBay through PayPal, and did thirty-four bucks shipped. So that's how I got this. So Chris, thank you so much. Uh, he's a Vita collector, got Stealth. And then Travis bought Battle Tank for NES Complete for 27 bucks plus shipping. So thank you guys for those orders. We're gonna check out what else sold and go pull some. Looks like we have a good bit of E2 sales, so I'm gonna pull all those uh, at the same time and we'll show you guys everything. But right now we have Mario Paint to go grab on B4. That sold for 70 bucks, and I think I probably paid like 20, but it is complete in box. It has some damage, that's probably why it took it a while to sell. Um, this actually came in a collection purchase that I got from my boy Michael, and yeah, 70 bucks plus shipping on that. Definitely a good sale, um, but it's got everything, it's complete, just has some box wear. So that's that, and now we'll stop it. I'll pull everything over from E2 because there's like five orders. So we'll grab those and show you everything that sold, how much I paid. So stay tuned here in a second. Okay, so I pulled the orders from E2, and one of my favorite orders from the entire weekend is this Metal Gear Solid for Game Boy Color. Rare game, apparently it's a good game. Um, and I believe shipping was on top of the $81. And this came in a Will It Trade episode where I traded a Switch Lite for an insane amount of games and systems. So that was part of that. 
Adventures of Tom Sawyer, probably from a collection buy, might have paid three bucks. Sold for fifteen with free shipping. So I'll walk out with about nine bucks after shipping and fees, maybe ten. This is a very unique sale. This is a Dreamcast right there to PS2 adapter, controller adapter. I got it at Disc Traders near Chicago for one dollar and I was like that's gotta be worth more than a dollar. I didn't even look it up and it was. It sold for forty dollars plus five and shipping. Very unique piece. I don't exactly know why he would want that but somebody did. And then this Fujifilm camera. Uh, probably picked it up for about 20 bucks and it sold for $60. Had a buyer message me asking if it has the charger and it does not so I just sent him an offer. It was, I believe it was listed for 75 Sent him an offer for 60 to see if they still wanted it and they did. 60 bucks on that. That's everything from E2. I'm going to bring all this stuff over to the packing station. We still have more orders to pull, but I want to point out uh, the packing station improvements and thank some of the viewers. So I asked for ideas in the last uh, video, the business tour video, I believe, and had some viewers give some pointers. So this is new, this shelf right here. We added three sizes of boxes that are kind of the most commonly used boxes so that we can easily just grab them off of here when we're using those because the box closet is around the corner. So having everything in one place, great idea, loved it. Put it into practice. The other thing, when packing up, I often use a bubble mailer, which in the last video I was using uh, the ones from the post office, the padded flat rate. Turns out you can't do that, which I did not know. Um, so went and bought some, and this is like a, I can't remember the exact size, maybe like a six by 10 or a nine by 12, something in that range. And this is how I'll pack up like the NES game just to show you guys, if you haven't seen the last video, check that one out because there was a lot of tips and pointers of how to ship stuff. But I'll slide it in here, and that'll fit perfectly. So I may even want to order a size up for my next ones because I don't know if that'll fit like a Sega Saturn game. But that's going to go in there, seal it, and then put it inside of the 9x6x3 box. And perhaps with a little more bubble wrap or padding so it doesn't move around at all. And that is going to make Travis very happy when he receives it in near mint condition. So there's some shipping tips. And these boxes right here, I have a link in the description. You can click on that. It's at eBay uh, where I buy them and like, buy like 150 or 100 of them. And then uh, there's links to like all the supplies I use. Um, one link that takes you to all of them. You can see like 50 items because I use a lot of stuff. This is stuff I use and recommend. And that's literally under the products I use and recommend link. It's on Amazon. They're affiliate links and it supports the channel, so I appreciate it. But like stuff like this, like I just got a shipment of this tape in a six pack heavy duty tape. Love it. That's in the, in the description. This tape dispenser is there. You got stretch wrap. You've got stickers for FBA if you're an Amazon FBA seller. So anything from Amazon to eBay, all the supplies. This bubble wrap arm, I added one that's very similar. Um, Craft paper, got that there. Bubble wrap, I don't think I have that there yet because I still got to get the link, but pretty much everything I use is there. So I definitely recommend checking out those links if you need supplies, and I would really appreciate the support if you're going to get them anyways. Check out my links and go on there and get some stuff you need. All right, so we went and pulled the rest of the orders. and. This is going to be my new favorite sale of the weekend. 130 bucks plus calculated shipping. This is the Thomas and Friends. Just the tracks. No cars, no nothing. Paid 20 bucks for the entire collection and still haven't touched the cars. So that's going to be a heck of a deal. So be on the lookout for Thomas the Tank Engine. Who knew? Crazy stuff. But I love it when big stuff sells because it's out of here and that is a good price to get. Make sure to charge calculated shipping. FedEx home delivery on your really big items too. Okay, this sold from the Panasonic 3DO collection, season four, episode one, epic collection purchased in that video. $125, it's the long box of the game D. And so the 
purchase on that is nothing at this point because we're well into the profit. On that collection, Pokemon cards, Legendary Collection, Seal, and Magnemite. So these are the commons, but they're still from the Legendary Collection, which is a beautiful set. And that sold for 20 bucks. Got an offer through messages. Took it. USB-C sold another one, power adapter. Got these at Walmart for 15 on clearance, sold for 35. This is a Nikon Cool Picks. Let's see if it has what I paid. I paid 30 bucks. Wow, that was a good deal. And what is it? A B B500. It sold for 120 plus shipping. So 30 bucks. Good deal on that. Sega Mega Mouse. Got this in the uh, huge Sega collection which uh, there is a video for that as well. Um, so I probably paid five bucks for it. It sold for 35 with free shipping. And then the Sega Dreamcast network adapter. Um, people take these off of broken Dreamcasts and sell them and I accumulated them by, through a collection purchase. So I got 14 bucks shipped for that. And that's everything. So $960 in weekend sales for eBay among 13 items. So that is a great average selling price definitely love that and yeah that's going to be it for today's video make sure to check out those links to all the supplies i use in the description below and we'll see you guys next time